Neurology quiz number 67. What is a posterior cortical atrophy or PCA and what are its clinical features? Background. Lesions of the extrastriate visual cortex cause two major types of visual disturbances. Lesions of the ventral occipital temporal cortex or the what stream affect object identification and color processing. Manifestations include achromatopsia or impaired color vision, general visual agnosia, which is the inability to recognize objects, or subjective visual agnosia, such as prosopagnosia, which is the inability to recognize faces previously known to the patient. It also causes pure alexia and topographic nausea, which is the inability to recognize salient environmental stimuli, such as landmarks, causing the patient to get lost in familiar surroundings. Number two, lesions of the dorsal occipitoparietal cortex, also called the wear stream, cause disturbances of spatial processing and manifestations such as Billent syndrome. This includes simultanagnosia, which is the inability to synthesize overall meaning of a visual scene, despite being able to recognize individual elements. Ocular motor apraxia, which is the inability to initiate voluntary saccades to visual targets and impaired visual scanning. And optic ataxia, which is the impairment of goal-directed and visually guided reaching and grasping of objects in the periphery. Other features are astereognosis and dressing apraxia. This picture shows the ventral occipitotemporal cortex or the what stream and the dorsal occipitoparietal cortex or the where stream. Here the picture on the left again shows the function of the two streams. The ventral or what stream is concerned with object processing and identification, whereas the dorsal or wear stream is concerned with spatial processing and its various components. The picture on the right shows how the two streams combine. Uh, in image enters the eye, such as a baseball, which is heading towards the person. The ventral stream identifies it as a round object and as a baseball, whereas the dorsal stream or the wear stream shows its movement and its orientation in space. PCA is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. Clinical manifestations reflect pathological atrophy of the primary visual cortex as well as the dorsal occipitoparietal or where and the ventral occipitotemporal or what visual streams. Etiology, Alzheimer's disease is the commonest underlying pathology and it is considered a focal variant of Alzheimer's disease. However, DLB, corticobasal degeneration and the Heidenham variant of CJD are less common etiologies. Clinical features, age of onset is usually earlier than Alzheimer's disease, less than 65 years, and peak onset is between 50 and 65 with a mean of 58 years. The proportion of patients diagnosed with PCA in a specialty cognitive clinic varies from 5 to 13 percent. Initial symptoms can be nonspecific and patients may present with anxiety. Early visual complaints are vague and described as blurriness and or glare sensitivity. Patients are often referred to ophthalmologists with normal results and may undergo unnecessary cataract surgery. Delay in neurology referral and delay in diagnosis is common. A detailed history reveals prominent reading difficulty, difficulties in judging dis distances and traffic speed while driving. Patients may re report impairment in reading analog clocks and may describe bumping into door frames while walking or locating door knobs due to difficulties in visual processing. Patients can report anxiety while going down escalators and difficulty with revolving doors. Patients may present with features of Gerstmann syndrome such as acalculia, agraphia, finger agnosia and left-right disorientation. Patients may manifest with Berlin syndrome with manifestations of ocular apraxia, optic ataxia and simultanagnosia. 
Most patients have components of both syndromes at the onset, such as acalculia and simultanagnosia. The latter is the most striking visual manifestation of PCA and can render patients functionally blind with impaired activities of daily living. This figure is an artistic rendering of how patients with simultanagnosia perceive a visual scene. The narrow spotlight of visual attention is directed to local constituent parts of the scene at the expense of the global picture, as shown in B. As a consequence, they fail to integrate these individual elements and create a coherent visual representation that they can recognize as the iconic Palace of Westminster. Neurological examination is otherwise unrevealing. Some patients may have homonymous hemianopsia or quadrantinopsia. A small percentage of patients may show signs related to underlying causes such as DLB, CBD and CJD. In contrast to amnestic Alzheimer's disease, patients with PCA show preservation of memory, insight, language and judgment until late in the clinical course. Patients are well aware of their visual impairment as their insight and cognitive abilities remain intact. As these visual complaints are often missed or dismissed by clinicians, patients may develop secondary anxiety and depression. Evaluation, ophthalmology examination, fundi and visual acuity are usually normal. Homonymous hemianopsia and quadrantinopsia can be seen. Patients have difficulty reading Ishihara's chart despite intact color vision. Neuropsychological testing, the WAIS typically shows substantially poorer scores for performance IQ compared to verbal IQ. The Boston cookie theft picture is an effective bedside screening tool for simultanagnosia. MRI brain, the typical change in the MRI scan is bilateral occipital and parietal lobe atrophy, which can be asymmetric. PET or SPECT scan can show hypometabolism in these areas. Amyloid scans, distribution of amyloid deposition is typically widespread and not focal and similar to that of patients with Alzheimer's disease. CSF, Amyloid beta is typically decreased and total and phosphorylated tau are increased, which is reflective of the underlying AD pathophysiology. This is a T1 weighted MRI showing marked atrophy of the parietal and occipital lobes. This picture shows imaging in PCA, images for one control and five patients with PCA showing cerebral blood flow, glucose metabolism with an FDG PET atrophy on a structural MRI and amyloid deposition on an amyloid PET scan. Amyloid deposition varies between, between individuals but is distributed throughout the cortex in all. Cerebral blood flow, hypometabolism and atrophy are by contrast restricted to the posterior cortical areas. This is the Boston cookie theft picture which is an effective bedside screening tool for simultanagnosia. The patient may see a boy leaning backwards or a lady cooking, but cannot appreciate the interaction between them or interpret the overall meaning of the picture. This slide shows the 2017 International Consortium Criteria for PCA. Treatment data on cholinesterase inhibitors in PCA is lacking. However, as the majority of cases are secondary to underlying AD pathology, using medications such as donepezil and memantine is appropriate. As visual impairment progresses with increasing dependence, patients can experience significant anxiety and depression and may require treatment with medications such as SSRIs. It is important that diagnosis is made so that safety measures can be implemented in a timely fashion, such as avoiding driving removing unsafe furniture and, in, and ensuring safety adaptations in the home environment. Encouraging audiobooks may help compensate for deficit in reading as the disease worsens. Prognosis. Patients have progressive deterioration of visual spatial and visual perceptual abilities. Eventually, patients become functionally blind, leading to consider considerable distress, especially in those who retain insight into their deficits and, bec and become increasingly dependent for self-care and day-to-day -day activities. As cognitive decline advances in the late stages, PCA can be indistinguishable from AD.